The HP 12C financial calculator gives you a quick and easy way to compute financial scenarios. Commonly it is used to compute monthly payments. Let's take a look at the keypad. The five keys across the top row are used for financial calculations. These are the finance registers. N will store the number of payment periods, usually months. For example, storing 24 would mean a two-year loan. I is interest rate. For example, 5.25 is five and a quarter percent. You do not enter interest rates as a decimal. It's understood that this number is a percentage. PV is present value or the loan amount. PMT is monthly payment. FV is future value. Usually in loan calculations, this value is zero, representing a fully paid off loan. We will also be using the blue G and F prefix keys. When any four of the five parameters of the loan are entered, we can find the unknown fifth parameter. So here's scenario number one, finding a monthly payment for a loan. It's a good idea to begin any financial calculation by clearing the financial registers. Pressing the prefix F and XY exchange key will zero out the financial registers. We have a $250,000 loan, 25 years, at 3.5 interest and we're assuming monthly payments, and we're assuming the loan is fully paid off. The four parameters we know are N, I, P, V, and F, V. They can be entered by typing in the number 250000 and then a single key press, P, V. You do not need to press the Enter key. Enter zero for F, V. For interest and number of payments, we're going to use the blue prefix key. Here's how it works. Type in 25 for years, then GN. You will see 300, which is 300 months. Isn't that slick? What you just saw was a built-in way to multiply by 12 automatically. Type in 3.5, then GI, and you will see 0.29, which is 1 12th of 3.5%. Using the blue prefix key saves you from having to divide by 12. Now that four of the loan parameters are in, we can find the monthly payment by pressing PMT. This number is negative on purpose. It means that cash is flowing away from you toward the lender as repayment. Scenario number two, finding the interest rate. Suppose you are told what the monthly payments are and you'd like to work backward to know the interest rate. Clear the financial registers by pressing F, X, Y. We know the following. The loan is $5,000, the monthly payments are $117.64, and the term of the loan is five years, which will actually be put in as 60 months. Enter 5,000 into PV, 5GN for 60 months, zero into future value, and now for the monthly payment. This number must be entered as a negative number or you will get an error. Enter 117.64 and then press the CHS key, which means change sign. Then press PMT key to enter it into the register. Now find out the interest rate. Press I and we get 1.21. Remember, what you're seeing is the monthly interest rate. If you want to know the annual interest rate, you need to multiply this number by 12. Press Enter, then 12, and the Multiply key, 14.5%. Scenario number three, calculating the number of payments to pay off a loan. In this last example, we will find out how long it will take to pay back a loan with a fixed monthly payment of our choosing. Your friend has $45,000 of student debt. She has budgeted $500 a month, and the interest rate is 7.5% APR. Enter these parameters into the financial registers. Now press N to find out how many payments. 133, these are months. Let's see how many years that is. Press Enter, 12, and divide. Looks like a little over 11 years. Thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, please leave a comment or give me a thumbs up and hey, go ahead and subscribe. It's free and you'll learn a lot.